in, in order if you want to beat the market. You better put in the dang work, okay? A lot of people, it cracks me up, they will put, you know, huge amounts of their money and life savings in stocks without even doing any research on these stocks. It's absolutely incredible. They don't look at the 10Ks and read through those. They don't read the 10Qs. They don't listen to conference calls. They don't listen to investor presentations. It's unbelievable. And, and as somebody that's been on YouTube now for, oh gosh, how many years have I been on YouTube? Seven years, if not more than seven years. I've seen so many retail investors come and go. And it's, it's, it's crazy because so many of these folks will put huge amounts of their life savings in stocks without even ever doing research on them. Without even, like, like this is not... This is the easy part of a stock market investing is doing the research. All it takes is some time. And you might say, I don't have time. Yes, you have time. Yes, you have time, okay? I, I've been doing this game for a long time and I've always made time to research. I, when I started investing, I was working three part-time jobs, going to college full-time and running track for the college team full-time, okay? And I still made time for investing. Nowadays, I have a wife, I have three kids, I have my big YouTube channels, I have my private stock group, right? I have all these other commitments in life, and yet I still pl find plenty of time to listen to conference calls, to read these reports. If you don't want to do the work, then you're not cut out for this game. If you don't want to read through a 10K, if you don't want to listen to a conference call, if you don't want to listen to an investor presentation, you are not cut out for this game. You can click off this video now. Go watch some Mr. Beast or something. Go be entertained. You're not that guy, okay? You're not that guy if you don't want to put in the work, okay? Or that girl. You're not that girl or that guy if you don't want to put in the work. You better be willing to put in that work or you have no chance in this game. Not only will you not beat the market, you won't even come close to keeping up with the market over a five or 10 year span if you're not willing to put in the work. You have to, have to keep up with these things. And it's so easy nowadays. This isn't complicated. But when I first started in the stock market, I used to have, have to contact companies so they could send me like physical annual reports and 10Q reports and things like that. Nowadays, like, this is so easy, man. Literally go on Google, type in PayPal IR or PayPal Investor Relations if that's a company or Apple Investor Relations or whoever, okay? And boom, right there in front of you, you're going to have all the reports and all the things you could ever want. All the SEC reports, all the quarterly reports, all the annual reports, all the events of the company, all the news with the company. It's all right there laid out for you. It is absolutely beautiful. In no days, there's even apps like this app, um, which basically just has earnings calls on it that, you know, I'll, I'll be laying in bed at night and just, you know, put in my ear, my AirPods or whatever, or, you know, while I'm working, put on a conference call, something like that. Um, and boom, listen to a conference call right on an app. So easy, man. So dang easy. This, this game is so much easier than it used to be back in the day. Back in the day to get a conference call, it used to be much more complicated, I can tell you that. To get your hands on an annual report, a 10Q, anything. Now you can do it in 10 to 15 seconds. Boom. All the data you could ever want right in front of you in 10 to 15 seconds, man. Boom. So there's no excuse for not doing the work. You do have the time. I promise you that. And if you're going to still make excuses, you're not cut out for this. Meta and Tesla have been battling out. Who's the first back to $300? And it looks like Meta's gonna get it, okay? Uh, you never know, Musk could pull a rabbit out of the hat here and, and maybe we go uh, you know, 300 plus on Tesla first. But being the two main positions in the public account, these stocks are obviously doing tremendous for us and it looks like Meta's gonna get it. 400, we'll see what happens with that, but it looks like uh, Meta's gonna get it to 300, okay? Now, in relation to this, in, in relation to the whole Zuckerberg-Musk situation, okay? Something very important is about to happen here. Meta's Twitter killer app, Threads, is on its way, and you get a cheat code to download it. This, this, their new uh, app here is coming out literally tomorrow, okay, the day after I'm releasing this video. So if you see this tomorrow or any time past that, the app will already be out, okay? Now, first thing that's very, very important about this, okay, this is, to call it a Twitter ki killer is, in my opinion, ridiculous, okay? Twitter's always gonna have a dedicated user base. I do not think this is gonna be a Twitter killer. I think this is gonna be way bigger than Twitter. That does not mean Twitter has to die or anything like that. But Twitter has been a stagnant platform for a long, long time now at this point in time. Twitter's been around for almost 20 years. And to be honest, like when it comes to Twitter, we're talking about a platform that has, you know, 300 something million users on it. 300 million, okay? 
that small potatoes from this type of stuff Meta does. They're, they're at whole different levels when it comes to everything Meta does, okay? When it comes to Meta, we're talking about billions of people, not hundreds of millions of people. That's child's play, okay? That's Twitter, Snapchat, those platforms, little guys, okay? Facebook has 3 billion, 3 billion monthly active users on it when it comes to Facebook, okay? These are the sorts of numbers we're talking about when it comes to Meta. WhatsApp, which is owned by Meta. WhatsApp has over 2.4 billion users on WhatsApp. When it comes to Instagram, Instagram has 2.3 billion users on it roughly and growing. That number is still growing and it's growing substantially, okay? If we look at something like Instagram's revenue over time, right? Instagram's revenue went from basically nothing in 2015 to likely within the next couple of years here, we should cross a hundred billion plus dollars a year in annual revenue for Instagram. When we talk about Facebook Messenger, Facebook Messenger now has around a billion active users on it, okay? So the thing that's important to understand is Twitter's gonna continue to be around. This, for threads to be a huge success, Twitter does not have to die, and we need to make that very clear. And to be honest, Meta is on such a different level when it comes to them building social products that if all they became was Twitter, it would be a disappointment for the company. Let's just call it what it is, okay? This company is on a whole different epic level than something like a Twitter, okay? Now, Zuckerberg says, thank you, Mr. Musk, okay? Because Elon Musk bought Twitter, and what he has shown is basically you can turn that business around and make it a success. And I think because of what Elon Musk has done with Twitter, I think Meta and Zuckerberg has looked at that and said, okay, we can actually make this a viable, successful platform and product now that, Zuck that Musk has kind of shown the way. And if you know something about Zuckerberg over time, and you know what he's built, he, this man, he's, he's going to copy you and he's going to do it better than you do it. And he's going to get way more users. And he's going to make way more money off it than you make off it. Okay. And so will Meta's product be a lot more successful in Twitter? Probably. Um, that's just the honest truth. No different than they take whatever everybody else is doing. They adapt to their own and then they end up over a few years. Next thing you know, they got the way bigger thing than you had. And it's like, what the heck, man, that was our idea. It was our idea. Right. You know, it, they just, that's the way it had. That's the way it's always been. That's the way it always will be uh, as long as Zuckerberg's leading this company. And so, you know, you know, I think in my opinion, Zuckerberg should give a big thank you to Elon Musk for basically turning around Twitter. And, uh, and of course, some people look at Elon Musk and they say, this man has caused the demise of Twitter. And it really depends. People are very passionate about this. I, I've read through ridiculous amounts of comments and, and, and threads on Twitter and whatnot, and just people just dogging Elon Musk. He's ruined the platform, this and that. Okay. And I've read other people saying he's done a great job. I was never really a, a Twitter user, so I don't want to say Elon Musk has made it the greatest thing ever or he's ruined it. But the bottom line is, at least as far as the business fundamentals, he's clearly turned that around. Whether you liked the way Twitter used to be a year ago or you like it better now. The bottom line is when it comes to the business perspective, Elon Musk has done a better job with Twitter. He's leaned out the organization in a massive way, and he's shown that it can be a business that can hopefully be profitable and successful over, over time, okay?